and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do hope that you stay, you subscribe, and you become a part of the CX family. As I'm sure you guys can see by the title of today's video, we're going to be doing a Girl Talks video, but today we're going to be doing a hashtag ask ZX and this is basically just gonna be a series on gold talks where I'm gonna come here one man gunman and I'm gonna be answering some of your questions and giving my advice or opinions on some of your guys's dilemmas I have um, posted on my community tab and on my Instagram to ask you guys to send me in your questions and dilemmas if you guys didn't get that I'm going to leave um, an email address on the screen right right Whoa. I'm going to leave an email address right now on the screen where you guys can email me your dilemmas and your questions for the next video. I am going to be leaving every single person anonymous, even if you guys haven't asked, because I do want this to be a safe space where no one is judged and like there doesn't need to be a name or a face to these dilemmas. So I'm just going to have it like that. I feel like that's the best way to go. This is going to be a really open and honest segment on my channel. I just feel like it's going to go really, really well with my gold talks and I'm super excited to do this. Thank you to every single person who sent in questions really appreciate your vulnerability and trusting me with your guys's information i really really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart and would love it if more of you guys could participate in the next one so again email address on the screen and i'm also going to leave it down below so you guys can participate in the next one and of course please don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel and let us get straight into it Okay, so as I already said, every single person that I will be reading their questions slash dilemmas is all going to be anonymous because again, safe space. We want everybody to feel comfortable enough to actually send me through questions and not feel nervous about the fact that it's going to be on the internet. So get a cup of tea, get comfortable. I would love for you guys to interact with me down below. So if you guys want to stop this video and comment down below any of your advice, your suggestions to any of the things that I'm going to be answering here, if you guys are feeling me, like the video, comment down below, let me know your guys' thoughts as you guys go through the video. Okay, so the first one says, Hey Z, so in the middle of last year, a friend of mine came back home to PTA. She schools in PE. So what had happened was basically a friend from PE also lives in PTA. So that friend had a friend who is my boyfriend's ex. Okay, so her friend, the friend, the friend had a friend. Yeah, that friend had a friend who is my boyfriend's ex. Okay, so Mina, that day I'm seeing videos on WhatsApp, Babona, and I'm even to the point of I know I'm not seeing properly. Okay, sure. Next thing, she's sending me a VN with this hand, telling me how she was still chatting to my man, Don Don, how he said that he still misses her, sharp. So after she says how she thinks this guy's been cheating on me. Wow. So sharp, I break down and I call my bestie and boy to find out. He says he is talking to her because his friend wants to date her. Obviously felt like lies. Told him to stop talking to his exes because if I did it back, we'd be having a different conversation. These are facts. So shut back to the friend. So I started feeling like this friend of mine is now pissed that I'm still with him after she had told me all this tea. So at this point, I just told her I didn't like what she was doing. And if she gives me advice, I have a choice to take it. Fact or not. So shut we both apologized to each other and said we just need time to rebuild our friendship. In brackets, she had felt that whenever I would check on her, it was about me only and never about her. That's why I apologize. So when we went back, Things were still rocky and manje, it's like I'm begging for attention. Like I call her, she ignores me. I text her, she doesn't make convo back. So all that being said, do you think I should fight for the friendship still or leave it? Because she seems like she's done with me and I'd be forcing things. In brackets, also I'd love to stay anonymous. Of course, of course. Just to give a summary if you guys weren't following, because I also need to needed to process it a bit. She has a friend and that friend has a friend who is chatting to her boyfriend that's what i'm getting and he's chatting she's chatting to the boyfriend because she's the boyfriend's ex-girlfriend so let's just actually go through the entirety of the message first things first um if a friend tells you information about your man it really like it is always your prerogative if you want to take that information or not but i think what your friend did by telling you was right i think that her telling you with this other girl on the vn is the shadiest thing i've ever heard in my life like what if you're gonna tell me and if you're saying you're my friend why would you go on the vn with the person that you think my boyfriend is essentially cheating with to come tell me that nonsense please respect me see me we're friends like there's absolutely no need for you to do it with her there it's a sensitive topic you come to me 
personally on a one on one even face to face if like maybe you can't see me then maybe a vn but by yourself a phone call not even a vn actually a phone call and be like this is the situation it's literally not for you to tell me with this girl in the room like you actually don't see me facts number one so that was shady but she's right to tell you because she's your friend at the end of the day cool but i, I just feel like there's an undertone of musnags there because why is she telling you with this other girl there like husnags number two it's your prerogative to take that information or not cool you took the information you asked your man I will say personally for myself, I don't think that I would take my man's word for it because if he is chatting to this Han, his ex-girlfriend, for his other guy friend, like that doesn't make any sense. If you're a guy who is who is in a relationship, there's absolutely no need for you to be talking to other girls. There's no need for your guys to be encouraging you to talk to girls on their behalf. That is not a thing. I'm so sorry. Especially if we're talking about things like Mujolo, there's no need for your man to be involved in any type of conversation like that. You're saying it's just because it's his ex. I'm saying any girl do not okay i'm a little bit crazy but like please don't talk to any girls about the dating mujolo and also i need context i need to see the text i need to make sure that that's the only thing you were saying but besides for all of that there's no need for that conversation to have ever happened but it happened cool and you take his word for it that is on you your friend needs to respect your decision and at the end of the day i guys if your your friend is wants to carry on with that relationship it's literally up to her you just need to be there for her as a friend at the end of the day to pick her up if things don't work out it's not for you to like be judging and to be angry because she didn't take your advice like i go through this a lot and i get kind of where she's coming from because it, it can be really frustrating if your friend's not hearing you and you're just like listen dude everyone can see this thing but you're not seeing it but you need sometimes to go through things by yourself you don't need people to tell you sometimes you actually just need to experience things and if they work out cool and if they don't get life so the state of your friendship right now is what you guys what you're basically asking me about and i feel like um if you are putting in all the effort messaging her texting her and she's not reciprocating your energy my i know for myself I always um, set the same standard like if I am messaging you constantly and if I'm calling you and you're not reciprocating I'm not going to beg you to be my friend or beg you to give me attention because no like I have more self-worth than that I'm not going to crawl and grovel for your friendship I'm, it's not worth it I'm not saying Gimma the friendship I'm just saying Gimma the attempts that you're making and if she's serious about this friendship with you she will um, message you back you've done enough I feel like you've said that you've messaged her you've called her when you miss her she doesn't text back it's over it's a dud leave it alone she will come to you when she's ready and if she's never ready then that just shows you that that friendship was never meant to work out in the first place because i don't even quite get why she's angry at you i think you needed to elaborate on like her saying that um you, she always feels like you check you it's always about you but in any case you've tried and that's all you can do as a person you try you move on if i got funny i got funny that's cool Okay, so the next one says, thank you so much to see for this great opportunity. You are really welcome. In this generation that we live amongst being too dark amongst my yellow bone friends taught me, in words comments, still on, still on the learning curve to be emotionally ready for all sorts of comments about my skin color. I remember last week a friend wanted to post a picture of us and I couldn't let her do that because what will society say when they see a top deck picture? Ooh, I never thought, I never told her the reason. My aunt used to call me Nyamane with a big forehead well um this is really really saddening and this really really like makes me so so sad honestly like in your question that you're asking here or your scenario that you've given me here i feel like this is like a situation where also you've people have told you something about yourself since you were much younger and you've sort of internalized this as the truth and as something that you've owned sort of um because you're saying that you don't feel beautiful because of your color and your color has nothing to do with your beauty as a person your color is what adds to your beauty it's what makes you beautiful so i feel like people telling you the stuff of nyamani with a big forehead you've internalized it and it's not like your fault obviously if anybody gets told one thing constantly and is told that you're not beautiful because you're dark skin you're not beautiful because you're this because you're that you start to think that that's the truth and now it's permeated into you not even wanting to post a picture next to somebody who's light skinned because you feel like people are going to be thinking that whereas people probably aren't going to think that but i get you think that because 
you've been conditioned to think that being dark is a bad thing and it's really not and i get that and i understand how you feel because a lot of the things that were told to me when i was very young about my appearance have still stuck to me stuck with me till this day and it's really really hard to break out of that even if you like let's even say like you know people who are dark and they go for skin bleaching it's like there's something there that they will never get rid of that still makes them insecure so the skin bleaching doesn't even assist the fundamental problem the the problem that's inside the thing that makes them think that they're not beautiful it, it doesn't even leave because of that you get what i'm saying so i just feel like it's something you need to work on within yourself you need to work on actually appreciating and seeing your body for what it is and loving every single bit of yourself including your skin tone you shouldn't be comparing yourself to the next person because that's always going to make you feel inferior and less than if you honestly don't feel secure within yourself beautiful within yourself find the beauty within yourself spend time with yourself and really get to appreciate yourself for who you are your skin color is you get to appreciate the fact that we're all different but we're all made in god's image i hope that you're a christian so you can understand where i'm coming from here but we're all made in the image of god and in that sense like there is nothing that should stop you from thinking that you're a magnificent creation honestly you're gorgeous never let anybody else make you think otherwise let go of the things that you've been taught about yourself i haven't even seen you but i know for a fact that umbuche and from the fact that i can see the sincerity that's coming from your heart here dude i promise you just spend time with yourself, get to know yourself, and get to love yourself for everything that you are. So. Hi, Zama. First of all, love you and love your channel. Love you too, my angel. Congratulations on all your hard work and how far you've come. I really, really appreciate it. My question is about self-confidence. When it comes to amazing energy and vibes, you the plug. I find myself lacking self-confidence to some extent. Are there any energy tips you have to improve this? well <laughs> when it comes to finding your confidence i always say that an important step to take is to step back and look at yourself and actually be able to write down or actually list everything about every single thing about yourself that you love you know even if it's the way that you do something your talents your academics your 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 face your features your ability to slay a wig or whatever make sure you know all those things about yourself you know, take a step back and really assess the human being that you are. Because I know for a fact there isn't one person watching this video right now who doesn't have something to be happy about, something to brag about, something to love about themselves. Whether it is how you interact with your friends. Are you a good friend? Are you a good person? Are you consistent? Are You, you get what I'm saying? So it's, it's not always about appearance. And that's the thing. Because if you only find your confidence in your appearance, that is always where the mistake comes. Because guys, beauty is fleeting. You're not always going to look like how you look right now. Sometimes you're going to munch. When I take off this makeup, I'm still going to be able to feel confident about myself. I'm still going to be able to feel like that bitch. Do you understand? That's the real essence of how I feel like you can get and keep your confidence at a high level. Sometimes I come on here and I'm not feeling the most confident about myself, honestly. And sometimes I do fake it till I make it. Sometimes the energy that I bring here is because I'm trying to portray to you guys that you don't need to not feel confident about yourself. You get what I'm saying? If I can be a vessel and make you guys feel like, okay, this person is confident, even on days when I feel awful, that makes me feel really, really happy. I don't obviously want to um put off the impression that i'm confident all the time um but that's why i have videos like this so you guys can really get an insight into who i am but most of the time i really do feel confident because of the fact that i know what i'm good at and i know my weaknesses as well and i don't mistake my confidence for cockiness you know i know that i have flaws i know that a lot of the things that have happened to me you know and that i have are not it's not all about me sometimes you know what i'm saying like a lot of the blessings that i receive are from god they are not things that i made for myself you get what i'm saying so understanding that and just being able to differentiate between the fact that you know yes i go through things and i'm not feeling my best all the time but like that doesn't make me a bad person i'm still an amazing person i'm a beautiful creation i'm magnificent you know i have a purpose i am alive all of those things give me confidence and that's what should give you confidence so again if you're trying to find your confidence make sure you know every single thing and appreciate every little thing that is amazing about yourself and acknowledge your weaknesses stand in your weaknesses because everybody has them you're not the only person who has weaknesses so don't feel ashamed of having weaknesses or don't feel ashamed about being insecure but just every single day make it a conscious effort to work on those things and just try and every single day become a better person and that's really going to make you feel confident in any situation that you're in so i hope that helps <laughs>
as a girl if you ever had to shoot your shot to a guy how would you do it i wouldn't ever do it my love <laughs> but to answer the question how would i do it i have no idea i really have bad game honestly as a hunt like i don't have bars i don't have any of that stuff i'm just really like if a person is coming at me sometimes even if people are hitting on me or like flirting with me sometimes i give the most awkward responses i'm like the most awkward hunt ever so i don't even know why people even chat to me <laughs> But how would I do it? I mean, I'd probably do it live jive so that, I mean, I can just take my L and move on and there's no, like, recollection of me ever doing it. Like, it's my word against theirs. <laughs> because I really, guys, I don't have games. So I wouldn't even try it, Jim. I, I really don't feel like Dina Yolando, eh? That is shootishy shots. I feel like I'd be awkward. It would be awkward for everyone. Like, no, no, yeah, get really. <laughs> But it also sucks to do that guys because waiting for a nigga that you want to notice you is boring Like if you have the confidence to do it Do it. It's just not my portion in life. I'm so sorry. I, I cannot take that L. So here's another one. Greetings, Zama What up? I wanted to know how you deal with insecurities. I have acne and I've become dysmorphic. I feel too scraggy as well so it, i'm essentially not happy with how i look i no longer take pictures nor buy slash wear clothes that i like or even go out with friends anymore i'd like your opinion on this hope you'll answer and thank you in advance you are welcome so i'm gonna answer the second part of this question in another question because i know there's another question i just saw now that includes this but i'm gonna talk about the acne part because girl my angel I understand how you feel if there's anyone who understands how you feel it is me because I have said this many times in my channel but when I was in high school the last few years of my high school years I had acne really really bad acne if I have pictures I'll put them on the screen right now because I was taking pictures at some stage but I stopped because it was really depressing that thing especially because it's on your face people literally take acne so lightly but they don't understand what it does to your self-esteem especially because guys it is on your face the first thing that anyone sees about you sees on you is your face it is so difficult and takes everything out of you when you have pimples all over your face that hurt that whenever you look in the mirror it's just painful and you're just upset and you literally it, it's flippin' upsetting like it's flippin' upsetting and there's nothing you can do about it for me I tried so many different products to try and get the acne off my skin I tried every single product in the flippin' clicks it was so discouraging because I think there was one year I can't remember if it was matric or if it was um grade 11 where the whole year I was just trying products and then at the, I think it was the end of and my body and my skin wasn't changing it was the same thing every single time I same thing as you didn't want to take pictures of myself i didn't want to go out i probably went out like towards the end of the year because like it was the end of matric it was festive besides that i didn't want to go out i don't want people to see me i didn't want to be a part of the world i don't want to go see my own family because my family would, was always asking me yours am i what's wrong with your skin why is your skin like that we don't have that in our family like why does your skin look like that it was so discouraging i literally didn't want to be seen by the outside world in my case i was helped by the fact that i ended up going to go see a dermatologist dermatologist and they ended up helping me with my skin but i understand not everybody has that option so what i have to say to you is that you actually just need to again have a one-on-one -on -one with yourself and just accept the situation that you're in and that you're in it at that point in your life because I feel like I, had I done that, I wouldn't have wasted a year of my life just closing myself off and crying all the time because of the way that my skin looked. Guys, your confidence, and this goes back to your confidence, your confidence has everything to do with how you see yourself. If the next person when you go out is going to judge you or is going to see you looking this way and that way, as long as you know yourself and as long as you're true to yourself, these things are going to affect you less. I'm not going to say they're not going to affect you because they will affect you. We are all human we all get insecure we all have down days where we don't feel our best but the more that you are confident and the more that you also need to surround yourself with people that are not putting you down you need to actually subtract yourself from those situations and subtract yourself from any situation where you feel like somebody's going to make you feel less than or you is going to take your confidence down even more than you or it already is down if you get what i'm saying make sure you surround yourself with people that are not going to judge you for the way your skin looks make sure you're around yourself you surround yourself with people that are going to uplift you one thing that i really really loved is that i was in high school and my friend group was really really supportive weirdly enough a lot of us were <laughs> going through the acne thing so i didn't feel so alone in that sense but i still get where you're coming from and i just want to say that 
um these things do pass acne and stuff like that just have faith that it is gonna pass do everything that you can to make sure that you're doing the best for your skin eating right i'm um, drinking the, the right liquids and all of that stuff and acknowledge for the most part that some things you can't change like if you've tried everything that you can in the acne department and you can't change it you need to accept yourself for who you are and you need to make sure that you accept yourself so that others can accept you as well it's not important to be accepted by every single person out there you're not trying to be hot for every single person but no one is going to accept you if you don't accept yourself and that's just fact so i really really hope that i was able to help you or give you my honest opinion on the subject because it is something that i've gone through so yeah so this one says hey z it feels so exciting to know that i can like actually talk to you because i feel like i know you through your videos appreciate that um so the problem i face is with my body i know a lot of people would kill to be my size but i'm starting to hate the way my body is structured i've always and still am skinny i mean like seriously skinny i've always convinced myself that there's nothing wrong with me since i was born this way and there's nothing that i can do to change myself as much as i have accepted myself i always feel that i'm not enough since most of the people i've liked slash like liked slash like seem to be interested in thicker girls i try my best to ignore the comments that people make regarding my weight and size but it always gets to me i'm sorry for the long paragraph but i think this is starting to get out of hand and i don't feel like this because i know that i'm putting unnecessary stress upon myself okay this is a topic that i've actually been wanting to speak on my channel to you guys about because it is something that i have faced i'm obviously not a skinny girl we know <laughs> and this is what um, my last question was about was about body dysmorphia hey guys future zx here just want to make it very very clear to you guys that i am not saying that this incident has anything to do with body dysmorphia i found this was an important time to speak about it because of course the other question that i had already read to you guys had something to do with body dysmorphia in it and i'd been wanting to speak about it and this question obviously touches a lot on body image just thought that this is an important time to speak about it so that we can quite kind of get context of where i'm coming from when I speak about body image and if you guys don't know what body dysmorphia is i think let me get a definition for you guys so that we're all on the same page okay body dysmorphia says it's a mental illness involving obsessive focus on a perceived flaw in appearance the flaw may be minor or imagined but the person may spend hours a day trying to fix it the person may try many cosmetic procedures or exercises to excess body dysmorphia is something that's very complex it is a mental illness it is something that is very very hectic but as i said the traits of somebody who has body dysmorphia i feel like i've experienced and um, i feel like a lot of people experience them as well and i'm not saying again that you have body dysmorphia i just wanted to speak on this and we'll come back to your specific question but um basically for me personally i'll tell you guys my personal experience as i don't know if you guys a lot of you guys will know but a lot of new subscribers may not know that when i was much younger i used to be much bigger than i am right now um at my largest which was in grade nine when i was 15 i was 83 kilograms um which is about 20 kilos it was like 84 so about 20 ish kilos heavier than i am right now and for my whole childhood i was the thick girl i'm not even gonna say thick i was what people say was the fat girl i was just so insecure i went to an all-girls school from the time that i was four years old um, and up until matric the same all-girls school super insecure as well there because so many girls as you guys know obsess over their weight um, and some will be on the verge of being body dysmorphic and some just obsess over it so much and it's always a topic in the conversations that we have at in these types of environments and again that made me feel even more secure insecure because they're all talking about how they feel fat and i'm here actually fat how am i supposed to feel about my body obviously then i decided to lose weight um, after that and even after i lost weight i still struggled with so many body issues i still to this day struggle with body image i go through phases in my life where i look at myself in the mirror and i'm never satisfied with how i look I could lose up to, I could even be a size 50 and I feel like right now I still would have times when I'm not happy about my weight and I want to say that I'm only mentioning this because I feel like it's more than the average person I obsess with my weight quite a bit I try to stay under a certain threshold because I know how it feels like to be considered as overweight according to BMI and I never want to get back there it is something that I think I'm probably always going to battle with because of again the things that were taught to me when I was younger about my appearance it's just people who are around me at the time people would always call me names people would always say things about you know how can i be the size at my age like how um do i live with my like 
just really awful things so i have internalized a lot of those things and i don't know that they will, they will ever go away so going back to your question about um how you feel about your body i honestly feel like it again goes back to the thing of you need to accept yourself for how you are and you need to accept the things about yourself that you can't change because let me tell you you may go on this whole journey and you may try and gain all this weight and maybe sure you'll gain the weight and become thick and become this person that all these guys that you like want and you still won't be happy with yourself genuinely it starts with loving yourself and it starts with being happy with the person that you are at whatever size at whatever um situation that you are in that point of your life and then and only then can you make changes to your life and genuinely be happy and um, at every single point in those changes because i feel like even now the way that you've explained this you're saying you're not happy about your weight and being skinny because of how people perceive you about what people say about you that is in affecting how you feel about yourself so until such a stage where you are comfortable with how you feel and you accept yourself that listen i'm skinny i'm skinny and this is how i'm built if a guy doesn't like me because i'm because of the way that i look deuces if you don't accept me for the way that i look deuces if you feel like i'm not your type then leave at the core of yourself you need to accept that this is who i am this is how god made me and be unapologetic be unapologetic and let everybody around you know that you will not take disrespect or disregard for who you are and if people don't accept you for who you are they can for sick. That saying that says, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference is so important. And I feel like it's a huge theme in this Girl Talks video so far, is accept the things you cannot change. Ask God for the strength to accept the things that you can't change courage to change the things that you can change and the wisdom to know the difference hey zama hope you're good um so i'm 21 turning 22 this year and i'm still a virgin hopefully will be till marriage personal choice i love your style babe and um, i've been single for a few years now and enjoying it i've noticed how you get annoyed with people asking you about your singleness and girl i can totally relate however for me it'd be my own friends guys friends come on do better so my friends are in and out of relationships and are having sex and they always make me feel like i'm weird or whatever just because i'm not doing all that they ask the most annoying questions and i've honestly run out of answers to give them they always say they they're just concerned and laugh because being single not being sexually active is a concern nowadays weird so my question are how do i get them off my back with all these questions how do i make them realize that i'm happy and content with the decision i've made to remain a virgin or do i need new friends baby you need new friends because guys giving away your virginity even though i personally feel like virginity is a social construct but we're not going to get into that in this video but your choice to not have sex is your choice it's not the next person's choice or your boyfriend's choice or your mother's choice or your dad's choice it's your choice so anybody who's going to be judging you for that decision you don't need that in your life and that is just plain factuals you really don't need that in your life who are they to judge you or to tell you that they're concerned about you not having sex they must be concerned less because you're not concerned and you're the most important person in this equation your friends need not to project their ideas onto you if you don't want to have sex you don't have to have sex if they want to have sex that's cool like that has nothing to do with you they need to not involve you and if they're not able to respect your decision to abstain from sex good bye you need to have a talk with them and actually let them know that listen your guys is co fake concern because it's really not real concern you, you you can't actually tell me that you're concerned about somebody who doesn't want to have sex you're concerned about the fact that they're not having sex what what what's your actual concern it's fake concern so your fake concern is not appreciated here i said i want to abstain until sex is my own person i mean wow i said i want to abstain until marriage that is my own personal choice i don't need to have sex because you guys are having sex and in the same way that i'm not judging you please do not judge me on my decisions it's my it's my decision it's my coochie it's fine you don't share it so worry less about her and if you're not able to respect my decision goodie bye like i'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you about the sex thing because this thing is not changing guys don't try to change people's minds about stuff like that for me things like sex people who don't want to drink people who don't want to there's no need like why are you pressuring people into doing things they don't want to do please please like honestly i i don't feel like you need that type of energy in your life and if your friends don't understand it ain't nothing to cut that bitch out Okay, the next one says is it okay to have a snack on the side if your main meal is far away sometimes i just want 
holds but all i want is him no one else no it's not okay i really don't like the fact that a lot of the time cheating is so normalized in our societies not only as girls specifically as niggas like niggas love to cheat and they make it seem like it's this amazing thing that should be congratulated and celebrated no 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 it's a hard pass i will never on my channel advocate for cheating it is never going to be a thing that i do here because <laughs> my chakras no no darling but besides that i just feel like it's a really really awful thing to do i feel like you even saying that all you want is him you don't want to do this babe so don't give in to temptation that you know that you're not going to be able to live with after you've done the deed also next thing with long distance relationships honestly it seems like you're not coping in the long distance thing so I think you need to reevaluate that for yourself and reevaluate if it's something that you want to do because I get you may love the person but if there's no prospects of either one of you guys moving to each other cities I don't I never I never see the the point of a long distance if it's like that because you're going to keep having these feelings of you wanting him he wanting you and that thing oh my doll is where things like cheating start to keep to creep in because both of you guys you don't know when the person's going to see the next person it just becomes really hectic so I don't want you to fall into that trap or him to fall into that trap if you guys are not super super committed to each other as well because the fact that you're even asking me this question is worrying like do you actually really really love this person to the point where you wouldn't consider cheating you must ask yourself that question i mean that's just me if you want to have a snack guys do whatever you want but i'm just giving my personal advice and i wouldn't advise as a friend i wouldn't advise my friend to go and get a snack that's that's just me so guys, this is the end of my Girls Talks video. I didn't answer that many questions, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It is honestly going to be a super long video. I already know that for a fact. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please, again, I'm going to leave the email address on my screen right now so you guys can email me in any more of your dilemmas. And if you guys um, have any comments on any of the information being shared here, please let me know down below. Comment down below. Let's have a conversation like we always do on these Girls Talks videos. And of course, leave some love for the awesome ladies that shared their experiences here on this video. It does take a lot of courage sometimes to share your insecurities with somebody who's a stranger because I do feel like I am a stranger to you guys sometimes. So I really do appreciate that. And I really hope that I, I honestly answered and gave my opinion opinions with grace and with um sensitivity the sensitivity that the topics needed and thank you so much to you guys for participating thanks so much to you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye